Uh, this is a view of Marvel Universe Thor figure. Uh, on the left side is the modern version of Thor, and on the right side the packaging, very cool and beautiful artwork of Thor on the upper left side and on the back. Uh, again, a picture of the figure, a little biography, and um, other figures you can collect is the uh, um, Iron Man figure, Captain America, and Luke Cage. So let me put this guy, put the packaging there. Uh, the figure comes with um, a little secret letter. Uh, it, it talk about um, how to track Thor and his people, uh, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, but you guys can read this. Um, I really don't care about those. I mean, it's just another extra that has Bro decided to include with every Marvel Universe figures. And uh, he comes with uh, a little biography, including uh, Thor's finger, uh, fingerprints on the back. Very, very cool picture of Thor. You can have this on display if you want to. And a little code for, um, for the website thing. Um, again, I don't really need that. So, And a base, very cool base. It says Marvel, Thor, and number 12 uh, so here is Thor um, I don't usually buy a lot of Marvel Universe figure but I have to say this one do not disappoint and um, I'm telling you I, you know I think uh, if you collect uh, Marvel Universe figure you know that uh, they use a very uh, very soft plastic very fragile for their figures Therefore, the joints are very loose, but not on this guy. This guy is an exception. Uh, let me put this guy out here first, so I don't have to bring him out later. Uh, that guy is for comparison. Um, so as I was saying, this guy do not disappoint. As you can see, uh, painting is great. It's, uh, great sculpting too. Uh, you can see the sculpting on uh, his... Uh, his armor and uh, his garment, very nice detail and some uh, a little bit of gray wash on his suit to make it look realistic, uh, as well as on his boots. Very cool and the hammer. I initially uh, thought this was the same uh, hammer that came with this one, but uh, it's actually not. Uh, this hammer is bigger, and the way his hand uh, is, is sculpted, uh, especially this hand, this hand holds this hammer perfectly. I mean, the, I mean the grip is so perfect. It's it's hold the, it's hold the the hammer so tightly that uh, unlike this one, this this one is very loose. Uh, and uh, the left uh, the left hand is a uh, punch. Uh, I just want to show show you his uh, head scarf and the hair. I mean, the, I I mean, Hasbro has done a much better job on this figure than this Thor, uh, because this guy here is much much softer than this one. is uh, It makes it easier to move around, and the sculpting is very nice too. But uh, uh. I don't think I like the eyes. I mean, the eyes look more like animals. Uh, so very nice looking. Let me give you a 360. Nice sculpting on the on the cape. Everything about this figure is it is so perfect. And uh, let me give you a comparison. Uh, I don't think you guys see it, but the wings are a complete repaint from this guy. The, the wings are exactly the same. So, uh, this is the classic store. This is from the uh, Secret War uh, Marvel Universe figures that came with Enchantress. Uh, in terms of detail, let me bring out another guy that is to totally impressive. Um, this is the Marvel Select version of the exact same character uh, in terms of detail 
and scale. I mean, I love this guy. The scale is so much better. Now look at that. How awesome he looks. Uh, just something I noticed about this door that uh, the wing on this one is different from this one even though it is the same exact same character and the head sculpt on on this figure is it, it is so so much nicer uh, let, me, let me show you uh, this is not a figure review of this guy but uh, I like to uh, show you one of my uh, figures from my doll collection very very impressive figure very very cool um in terms of articulation of this figure uh this guy has a uh, ball jointed head that can move very very well surprisingly well more than this guy and um he has a uh, ball jointed shoulder a swivel in the bicep a uh, single hinge elbow a swivel wrist um a ball jointed torso and a swivel waist. Um, he had a uh, ball jointed uh, hip, swivel in the uh, in the thigh. This is new, and uh, double hinge knee, and a ball jointed ankle. Uh, let me stand this guy in the front line because this guy is very very impressive. Oh, let I I forgot to show you. The, uh, the detail of the uh, of the hammer and uh, also a comparison uh, you can see the hammers are uh, this hammer is bigger and the handle is also very much bigger and as I say again uh, the hand grip holds this hammer very very well very tightly Again, um, if you are a fan of Marvel Universe and a fan of Thor, I I super super highly recommend this figure. This is I I had to say this is the best three and three quarter Thor figure yet. Um, everything about this figure is impressive. Um, um, especially I I like this figure because uh, he has a uh, naturally looking swivel bicep and a swivel thigh, which is uh, a great improvement from the uh, from from the previous Marvel Universe figures. Uh, it, it, it's also greater in posing, so I highly highly recommend him. This guy cost uh, me uh, uh, this guy cost me seven uh, forty nine at my local Toys R Us store, and uh, I'm pretty sure you can find him there, and uh, maybe Walmart or Target. But this guy is pretty rare, and now I know why. Uh, so pick it up the moment you see him on retail. Uh, I highly, highly recommend him. Take my word for it. This guy is impressive. So this, this is a figure review of Marvel Universe Thor, and thanks for watching. Good night, guys.